Hello everyone and thanks for joining me here. Uh, we're going to look at the first example of module 3 which is an introduction to continuous random variables. So this one it says uh, let x denote the magnitude of a force applied to a steel beam and the force is measured in Newton. Uh, the probability distribution of x is such that probability density function PDF is given by this probability density function is equal to 0 0.0025 when x is between 300 and 700. So this tells us the range of this random variable. It's between 300 newton to 700 newton. And uh, for any number between these two uh, values, the probability is essentially the same, is 0 0.0025. Note that uh, this PDF function is equal to zero for all other values of x. Meaning that for x values greater than 700 and less than 300, the PDF is equal to zero. Probability is equal to zero. First, uh, we want to plot this uh, probability density function. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this function is essentially a constant, right? Is a uniform function that if this is the range of x, and let's say that this is here is 300, and here is 700, uh, the PDF function is just a line, straight line from 300 to 700, and that line here is f of x is at 0 0.0025. Okay, so that's the uh, PDF function that we have. Now verify that f of x is in fact a valid uh, probability density function. Well to check whether a uh, PDF function is valid, what you need to do is you got to take a look at these two conditions, whether those two are uh, valid for that function. First, non-negativity. Second, has to add up to one. So let's go ahead and do that for this function. For part B, we first check the non-negativity condition, and that means f of x needs to be greater than or equal to zero. Well, we know that uh, when x is less than 300, f of x is equal to zero. Essentially, the probability is equal to zero. When x is between 700 and 300, that probability is 0 0.0025. And when x is greater than 700, the probability is again 0. So in all cases, f of x is never uh, negative. So that condition is passed, right? The second condition is uh, has to sums up to one over its range. So let's check that. The range of this random variable is from 300 to 700. So to check that uh, condition, we have to integrate from 300 to 700 over 0 0.0025 d of x. So if you do the math here and get this integration and integrate is 0 0.0025x from 700 to 300. And when you do the math, you will see that that is equal to 1. So the second condition is passed. So we can say that since both validity conditions are passed, the PDF is valid. All right, so that's how you uh, check the validity of a PDF. Part C, find the probability that the force applied to the BIM is less than uh, 450 and greater than uh, 375. So that essentially says, what's the probability that X is between 450 and 375, okay? 
And we know that to calculate that probability, we essentially need to integrate from 375 to 450 over that function. So let's do that for part B. And the same way that we did the math up here, we can do it for 450 and 375 instead of 700 and 300. And if you do that, you'll get 0.1875 about 18, 19% chance. I want to mention here that instead of uh, doing it with the integration, uh, you could solve this geometrically because the PDF function is so simple that it allows you to do solve this geometrically. So you're essentially looking at 375 and let's say here 450, right? And the probability that you're calculating is the area under the curve between 375 and 450. So you could find the area by multiplying the width to the length, and that would be your uh, probability. So 375 to uh, 450 is 75, and here on this side, we have 0 0.0025, so 75 times 0 0.0025 will give you the same uh, probability. So if the function is too simple and you can solve it geometrically, go ahead and do that. Now, part D of this problem says, find the probability that the force applied to the BIM is less than or equal to 450, but greater than or equal to 375. So the term or equal to is the only difference between part D and part C. So basically this part of the problem is asking you for what is the property of X being more than equal than 375 and less than or equal to 450. The only difference here is that we are adding the probability of x equals 375 and also probability of x equals 450 to this probability that we solved in part C. We're just adding these two to it by saying or equal to. But we already know that probability of a single point is zero. So part D would have the same answer as part C because these two probabilities are equal to zero. So without bothering solving this again, you can say that is 0.1875.